I know, mate, I know. We're back on. We're back on YouTube. Um, so Welcome everybody, your eyes are not deceiving you. It is Russ McDonough, AKA The Neurotic Veteran, and I'm back on YouTube. Um, yes, I am back on YouTube, and this is because uh, last week, I did a little Instagram thing, and I said who would like to see some more Nomadic Veteran videos, and like, you know, a whole three or four people said do it, so obviously here I am, making YouTube videos again. Thank you very much. Um, right, if you haven't seen the channel before, I used to live in a van, travelled around Europe, and now I live on a narrowboat, because something a little bit different. And it's I love it because it's the alternative living, because I didn't really want to go back into bricks and mortar. But anyway, that's another story for another video, I'm sure. Um, to ease myself back into the whole YouTube shenanigans, I wanted to do a nice, simple video. And I, it, I woke up this morning, and it was minus three. It was freezing cold. Uh, and a question which I've been getting from at work with, with a lot of my friends and that is like, oh, you must be really cold now, it's winter time on the boat. Obviously, and uh, you know, a boat lives in water and it is freezing cold, so you would think that. The truth is, not really, no. Um, we've obviously got uh, the usual bits and pieces. We've got onesies, we've got hot water bottles, we've got a couple of dogs which, keep, which snuggle up to us to keep us warm and that. But our main source of heating on the boat is this glorious log burner. It is a multi-fuel Morso Squirrel. By all accounts, very good brand. It was here already on the boat when we when we purchased the boat, so we didn't get a say in it, but we would have probably gone for the same type. Anyway, it's, it's brilliant. Um, now, on, a, on narrow boats and wide beams and barges and all that, you can, a lot of people have radiators, a lot of people use the old uh, diesel heaters, which, you know, people use in vans as well. Uh, and they've got, you know, I'd probably say 99% of people have got a log burner on their boat. This is all we've got, apart from the, you know, when we're boiling the kettle and that, but this is predominantly our only source of heating. Um, now, you're probably thinking, what do we, what fuel do we use for our multi-fuel? And I'm going to get into that now. So, the first one, which, you know, for the environmentalists out there, I apologise, we do use coal. Um, it's cheap. It's uh, really long lasting, so throughout the day, once you've got the fire going, you chuck the coal in there, you just keep topping it up. It generates a nice constant heat throughout the day for you. It's a really good bit of kit. Uh, so we like using coal, I'm sorry. Uh, but to get the fire started, we just use kindling, um, and then we also, to, we do have to use like a little something something. So we've got the good old fashioned wood. Everyone loves wood, so that always helps. Um, Although to buy wood is actually getting, as with everything in this world now, it's starting to become a lot more expensive. Uh, we also use these little bad boys. So this is like just old wood chippings and, and stuff like that, condensed in, really cheap. Burn time on these is ridiculous. They last for hours and hours, and it, it, it gets the fire going really quickly. So we highly recommend these. Uh, get them off Amazon, get them in B&Q, about seven quid for five, but you can break them down, really good bits of kit. And then we've also got, these are one of my favourites to be honest, coffee logs. Old coffee, uh, beans, granules, whatever you want to call them, condensed, chuck them in there. All right, it's not the greatest burn time, but you know what, they're, they're nice and they're, they're pretty cheap as well. And why we like using these and like the, the condensed sawdust and, and all that is because it's, it is good for the environment, it's much better, it's re recycled, it's good. Um, and we can get it delivered via Amazon and that. Which leads me on to then how do we get all of our stuff to, to fuel the uh, to fuel log burn. The log burn? The log burner. Um, so coal we buy, wood we buy. Uh, and now before we moved on to a, a narrow boat, I never knew this right, they're everywhere. Basically it's like the fuel boat, we call them the fuel boat people. I don't know their names. But the fuel boat people and you put an order in with them or if you don't put an order they just it's kind of like just mince up and down the canal. Uh, you can nip out and you can be like, mate, I need some gas, I need some coal, I need wood, I need diesel to run the engine or whatever. And 
and you buy it off them and they just go up and down, it's brilliant. Uh, we always put an order in, don't we kid? Yes. Uh, <laughs> we always put an order in and then even if we're out, they'll drop it off on the back of the boat and it's there waiting for you and no one's nicked it so far, so it's, it's all right. Um, and that is how we predominantly get all of our fuel free. What we have started doing, or what we started doing pretty much from the beginning actually, is we like to forage. So we go out, we'll find, come, down, come on down. Come on, come join the party. Come on, come on. He's getting old, bless him. What do you think of his fancy haircut? Looks like a, a mini cow. Um, good boy. Um, what we like to do is we, we, when we take the boys for a walk and that, we'll just pick up twigs, uh, bits and pieces like that. And then where we moored up now, and actually there's quite a few places where we've been, even in London, there's always like trees. And I'm not sure if it's the CRT, the Canal River Trust, or the, the, the local council, but they'll cut the trees down or the trim trim them back and they just leave massive logs just on the side just for like, they're just there and I've seen other people do it, so we do it as well, is we just, we go and get them and then we bring them back onto the boat and I've been like uh, going old school on it, using the good old fashioned saw. I've finally invested, oh it's only a mini chainsaw, it's a six inch blade on it and chainsaw uh, just to cut through a bit quicker. Uh, and also we can collect a lot more wood and in that way we're just re we're reusing what's been provided and we're not having to pay for it so it's a bit like I always use this uh, analogy it's like finding money when you buy a big plot a big log of wood it's like it's finding money because you're not having to buy it that's just how I see it and it's you know what it's really nice to sort of like go through the whole process of finding it cutting it burning it I like it um, one thing I should say actually because uh, I haven't actually answered the question which I said when my friends were like oh it must be cold in the boat when you first wake up in the morning yeah it is freezing like today was minus three it was really cold but once you get your onesie on and you get the fire on ten minutes later the fire's roaring and you're good for the rest of the day so it's a common misconception that we'd like maybe that if you live on a boat you're cold all day I know I'm wearing a beanie but that's because I've not shaved my head in like two three weeks and I don't want to give the monk haircut any sort of like viewage so the other thing Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about actually was this, like where we've got the the log burner situated. So for us, the log burner is right in the middle of the boat. And you'll see on a lot of boats, they always have it like tucked away in a corner. And I guess the benefit of that is when it's pushing out the heat, it's kind of, it should in theory go down in one direction and, and heat the rest, of the, the rest of the boat up. We have ours in the center of the boat, but we've also got like these little fans which kind of then distribute the hot air off the, off the stove and that, so again, our whole boat is nice and toasty, it's great, we love it. Um, and I, I must say as well, for me, and I know, you know, there's something very uh, satisfying, rewarding about starting a fire, making, making fire like a caveman. Um, and it also, I, I, I honestly, I say this to everyone, it keeps you from being totally soft. Like you have to embrace the cold in the morning, and you have to make your own fire, you have to make your own heat. Whereas in a house, you, you, you get the central heating on to come on at 5.30 before you get up. So when you wake up, it's all nice and toasty, isn't it? Yes. Um, so uh, I know, mate, I know. We're back on, we're back on YouTube. Um, so it's, it, you know, I've completely lost my train of thought now. Look at him, he's such a good looking boy. Um, what's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I've not said this in a while. What do you want now? It's taking years off him his haircuts, isn't it? Oh, you good lad as well, aren't you? This is—I know this is why those four people which voted for me to come back on YouTube. You probably just wanted to see Cookie and Ooch, and who can blame them, eh, kid? Yes, good lad. Right. Anyway, come on, good lad. Uh, we'll leave it there. I've not said this in a little while. If you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, baby. If you would like to leave a comment, and if your comment, maybe you can tell us if you've got like a like a central heating type system on your boat. If you've got a diesel heater, do you find they work better in the winter than using a log burner? Is it cheaper? Uh, and even if you haven't got a boat, just tell us what you think of our setup. Maybe you're like, oh, I would definitely go for like the diesel heater. I wouldn't want to rely on just wood and coal. Um, so let us know. What's the other thing, Hoochie? Sharing, because sharing is caring share the video, and then if you'd like to see more of us, which you would, undoubtedly, and because there might be, there'll be more videos, and there might even be like a spin-off channel. 
I'm just saying. There might be. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll let you know. And apart from that, is that it? Yes. Beatus?